So we have this really weird peak here. It's not almalium. And if you click here, it should try and self-determine what it is. And you, you basically can't, you can't, you can't find this peak. Is it something to do with almalium? I don't know. There's, there's nothing around that peak. Now, if we use ytterbium, uh, it does have a peak that centers on that. Uh, and we've got a, a bump here that centers on that. And we have a little bump here which kind of goes there, although that looks like it should be less intense. But we're not seeing these lines down here. And we're not seeing these lines up here. Um, I mean, are we seeing those lines? I don't don't think that we're seeing those. And we might be seeing this line here, here, unless that's copper. Let's see what copper does. No, copper's not got a line there. So it looks like we're getting that line there. But we're not getting these here. Unless unless we find something that has just copper, oxygen and aluminium and see how flat this is. This might go down to a, a drop, I don't know. But this, this is the only thing that Ytterbium um, will include it to try and get the map. So if we look at the spectra here, um, where's our things? Where's our lines of images? How do we see those? Sorry, Jana. You, 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 what, did, what did you say about this? <laughs> this is the first sample where you can't tell what it is. You don't know what it is. Okay. I can hear Yuri Bajutov saying, new kinds of material. So uh, we think it might be zinc. Uh, there's nothing going on down here for the zinc lines. Um, which is interesting because we're not getting there, but something there. But if we go to the terbium, well, the, the zinc doesn't do anything for this, does it? Um, the terbium has this line, uh, which is kind of bang on that. Uh, the zinc doesn't. It has this one here, which is huge. <laughs> Uh, we, have, we have a material we can't really identify. We've been through the entire periodic table, and uh, as Yuri Bajatov would say, new kinds of material. This is where this ytterbium is, or whatever it is. Um, and according to the software, it can only determine copper oxide and basically nothing else. It's completely confused. Completely confused.